Alrighty, the ladies and gentlemen, the Woozle is back with another uh, Flight Sim developer session in Microsoft Flight Sim for Microsoft Flight Sim. We are back in Blender. And as you can see, uh, today we're dealing with uh, textures. And I already prepared something here off, um, offline a little bit. As you can see here, we have some kind of leather texturing now going on here on the top. Um, of our table and I also um, put in some high gloss finish here to that table up top here. So as you can see here on the right we have now a albedo texture. I have um, composed a uh, yeah composite texture and we have also a normal texture. So the normal texture basically does um, that kind of leather styling here and yeah when it goes to roughness and met metalness. So the composite texture, so I just ramped up here the glossiness here and adjusted metallic and roughness accordingly. Excuse me, not sure if it's too glossy to be fair. We'll have to check it in a simulator though. But I think we should be good with that approach here. I think this looks pretty, pretty good, pretty realistic. So we've also seen in the IRL pictures that this is really high gloss finish usually, right? So I think we should be good to be fair. Okay, so I would say let's uh, go ahead and actually take a look at that in the sim. So we have to go ahead and export our stuff once again. So therefore I will select here all the objects again. And then I will export it once more here. Uh, let me see though. Okay, so let me just check that we have the correct one here. Export that. And then also let me quickly go ahead here and merge uh, the things here. Go into the GLTF file. We'll just do it here real quick. Um, I've shown you how it works, but just to see that we are fine on that. So now we have an albedo texture, we have a normal and we have a composite. That should be good. Saving out that. And then I need to quickly check your export here. Because we need the composite texture now as well and the normal texture. We good. Just copy in that here real quick to the output folder here of our aircraft texture, paste it in here. Then let me quickly see though, the normal here though. Composite. And I copy that here for composite here though. TDS, TDS file right here. And for the norm, let me also quickly grab one for that for the normal map. All right, so normal map is in, composite map is in, albedo map is in. Copying that out here. Right. Microsoft Flight Sim, let's see here. Who's aircraft? 
texture. Paste that in here as well. And then let's also grab here real quick. So I'm just doing this here real quick off off screen here and just copying the files over basically, right? So no big deal. Yeah, that worked out fine. Okay, so then let's copy all that stuff here. Model, copy. Copy it over there in the test folder first. So we can check it from there. Just verifying that I have the correct stuff in. All the textures, they are in indeed. So just creating here a layout file again. All right. Good. So. Then let's quickly fire up Microsoft Flight Sim. So saving that here. And then let me start it here. Fast launch. Let's get it. Okay, while well, that's firing up though. So I think really it should be fine. However, sometimes when you take a look at it in Blender, it looks bit different though compared to the Microsoft Flight Sim shader and whatnot. But I think it's pretty close. It's not too bad. Um, it should be pretty glossy, but I think that's actually what we want. I think it's not, not a bad thing in that case. So we'll check it once the sim is fired up. And other than that, I think then we should be good with the whole thing, right? Pretty much good. Yeah, so what I also did here, as you can see, I updated the hinges here a little bit, right? Did a little bit of um, texturing to that. Just a little bit though, nothing special, but just a bit. So I guess now it looks kind of realistic though, the whole thing, when you compare it also with the real aircraft though. So it's getting pretty close, the whole mechanism and yeah, I'm pretty, pretty happy with that now, I would say. So then I think we're good on that front actually. Then we can think about doing some miscellaneous stuff as well. So what we could think about is uh, doing a little, you know, plate here with uh, some sweets or stuff on there. For the passenger. So we'll see though. We'll see what we can do here though. Maybe a little snack. So, so let's see. Okay, Microsoft Flight Sim should be there in a bit. And then we can check this out though. Hopefully. Alrighty, let's go to let's see here. Go to my hangar here though. Change the aircraft. Back to the CJ4. Go back. And then we have to change the livery here though. Uh, oh, I don't have the Woosel Air livery. Uh, anyway, does not matter. So the interior look, looks a bit different now, but it's no biggie. Okay, so black seats in here should not to worry. I think that's pretty okay. We have to take a look at it in the sunlight as well. It doesn't look that glossy from here though. 
I should load into a proper airport and then take a look there. But as you can see here, the texture on the top here, that looks pretty good. So I would say let's quickly spawn in at Rimini Airport, where we stopped last time here. Right. All right, here we are. Let's check here back in the cabin though. It's actually not glossy at all, is it? not glossy at all. It's rather... It's rather smooth. Um... So we have some glossiness going on here, right? So... Technically, it should be a little bit more glossy. So... We have to check back in Blender. We have to check... Um, let me see though. Strength. It should be actually, I'm not sure. It should be actually a pretty gloss, a glossy, but um. You quickly see though. We need to change our texture map here. So black being a smooth, glossy surface like we have.
All right. So then I think we need to um we need to mess around a little bit with our composite maps here. So let me see though. Let me fire up a GIMP here. I think it should be still there. Maybe not. All right, let's switch over to GIMP here. And let me quickly import the different layers here for our composite map. So let me see though. So you need three different maps, which I created with the materialized tool basically. And also, um, as you can see here, we have all those three maps in. We have the roughness map, the metallic map, and the AO map. So uh, we need to figure out this stuff here though. Um, So actually, I believe the metallic map, let me see. Um, So basically this part here, right? This part here, as it's completely black, it should be kinda should be kinda glossy though. Let me see here. I'm as mentioned not a not an expert when it comes to the texturing stuff. Okay, so um, so if we set the metallic map to white, then it's fully metallic. So maybe we need to make some changes here. Need to change here though a little bit. So we can use the brightness contrast to bring it down here. Maybe like so, to be honest. All right. Let me quickly see um, the roughness map. Black being perfectly smooth and white being non-reflective and rough. Right. So if we set the roughness map to black, then this would be perfectly smooth though. But maybe it was due to the uh, due to the metallic map and that where was an issue there. So we could as well make this also a bit darker again. Makes sense. Yeah, it should be actually. It should be. Um, but as mentioned, I am not a specialist here. Just wondering though. But anyway, uh, let's go ahead and do a composition here of the layers. 
Real quick. Some roughness is to green channel. Okay, let me quickly create that. So then it looks finally like this. And we can go ahead and export that result here. And see how it turns out though. That's the composite, replace that, export. Okay, let's head back into Blender then. And we go ahead, scroll down here. And we'll just reopen here the composite map. It is still quite glossy. Let's take a quick look at the shading tab. Yeah, so also not really sure what's going on here, to be honest. Maybe that's also a Blender thing because of the plugin and stuff. So maybe it turns out more glossy than it actually is at the end of the day. But I think we are good. I think we are good. Okay, so I will export that once again, I would say. And then we'll, let's take a look again in the simulator though. So we select it all here and export that once more. All right. So let's see here, source model. Okay, check in my texture export here as the composite map. And then we'll go ahead and paste that in here. Texture place. So I'm actually not sure if we can do a a reload here in the sim. Let me quickly check here though. I thought you were able to we can try it with the developer mode. Not sure if that works. I think it worked at some point. So the aircraft selector. So we could go ahead and just load into another livery. I think that shouldn't be too much of a topic. Oh, look at that. I'm not sure if it really reloads the textures as well. But you see, it's not that reflective, right? It's not that reflective, though. There's some, some stuff to be done. It's an interesting livery, by the way. Oh boy, look at that. Holy smokes. That's interesting. Alright, let's go back to the main menu, though. I'm afraid I think we have to reload the whole simulator here real quick. Let's quickly get rid of the death mode again. With the desktop and just reload the whole thing again. And then we should be, it should have a fresh start here. All right, starting up.
It was a little... A little deep. Even takes a while to load when you're not having that much in the community for a little, but yeah, it is how it is, right? So let's see, let's go back into the... Back here... Ah, it's still kind of the same. Still kind of the same. Maybe a little more glossiness now going on here. Not... yeah, not too much. Could also be the normal map, actually. Could also be the normal map. Let's try something here. Let's also spawn in here at an airport to just see we have some some sun coming in. Alrighty, let's check it out here. Okay, I need some sunlight coming in here. <clears throat> okay, so we got some. Yeah, it's not really reflecting though, is it? So the black part here of the table, it's not coming really through though. Activity here of the top part here though. That's pretty much good. That's pretty much good how it should be. We have that little leather texturing thingy going. That's good, I would say. Yeah, but this part could be for sure a little more glossy, just a bit more. Yeah, it's kind of rough from that point of view, right? Not much going on here. So I'm not sure, maybe it's it's Blender, which has an issue there. But it should be glossy, actually, it should be. So maybe check my textures again.
could be the issue here. Okay, so let's see here. So for the normal map, let me also check that. Uh, okay, let's see here. And yeah, that should be also good. So the roughness map, that's kind of, kind of good, metallic map. So what we could try actually here, just to see if it's a blender issue, maybe Let's go back with the blenderino. Let me just get rid of the comp and the norm for now. And if we go to the shading tab, um, Yeah, that's the stuff from there. But basically, right? So that's metallic 1.0, right? That's the metallic thing. So um, that does not make a big, big difference. So we are somewhere here in the middle, I think, with our stuff. And for the roughness, bring it all the way down. And we should be good. So that looks fine to me, actually. We're still like here in this area here, right? Roughness one. That is a bit strange. Composite. There's our roughness coming in. And there is our normal coming in. Actually, what's that all about here, though? 
normal detail mix, whatever. And there's some detail maps here. Anyway, I think that should not make a big difference. Uh, let me just look for something here. Just see if I can find some information. I always thought that was the way how to do it. Okay, so there's a guy saying here on the forums, fsdeveloper.com, nice uh, page. Make sure that the affected materials are connected to GLTF. Green box on top right of the notes. Shield here. Okay. Shield here settings. So, yeah, not sure if everything is connected properly here, to be honest. Metallic roughness, so metallic. Just the AO thing. Ambient occlusion though. That's the occlusion stuff here. That's the. Uh... Okay, this might be the issue then. Uh, let me see if I kill that, kill that.
as the comp. There's the normal. And let me quickly check the forums again. It has only one GLTF setting still. This is the correct one for the occlusion as well. Now we have the blue channel to metallic, and then we have the green channel here to, to roughness, which is all good, which is all good. Yeah, those are the other thingies here. Should be good. I'm not really sure what the issue here then. Um, Was looking but uh, haven't found anything yet so it looks like um this way it does it automatically right so it should be should be fine should be fine though so it's a little bit weird because the channels are connected just fine so not really sure SAO here. Well, then I have to maybe look some stuff up. So, not really sure actually. So, as you can see here for sure, right, this is coming up just fine. It is glossy. It should be glossy like that actually. But it's not coming up in Blender as it should be. So, maybe I have to check the export file and things like that. But um, anyway, at least. At least we have um, we have some textures now, some better textures here. A little bit more to IRL, I would say. So let's get that glossiness fixed, so that we can see it in the sim properly as well. And then we'll crack on from there next time. Maybe finish the whole thing up. I think we're pretty close. And then we can think about some further stuff to be uh, modeled for, for that uh, cabin. Alrighty then. So that's it for now, I would say. See you for the next one. Take care, cheers, thanks for watching, and bye-bye.